Colton McCauley, that's his name, and he's fed up with what he's witnessing around him. You mentioned it. He hasn't lived here very long, but he's lived here long enough to witness and hear about some of the crime that's happening all around him. He says he's the man with a plan to help clean it up. And I'm just sick of seeing vulnerable people getting targeted, you know. We need to protect other people's property also. On the same day that Colton McCauley decides to do something about the crime in his Pontiac neighborhood, he learns of a shooting at an apartment just one and a half miles away. In that shooting, a 22-year-old is killed. Three other men shot and now in the hospital. No arrests have been made. Don Hanna is a cousin of one of the surviving victims. It is sad. It said it's right in my backyard. You know, um, I actually trying to figure out how we can clean up this neighborhood right here. This has been going on for a long time now. It's crimes just like this that push Colton to help, even though he's only called Pontiac home for two years. Coming from a rural town that has high crime, I wanted to kind of help this community else. And the moment that sealed the deal when he decided, now I have to act. What pushed me was my sister's break-in yesterday. Broken glass from that break-in still on the driveway. When he went to make a report, he says he was told these crimes happen in his neighborhood. Saying that it's normal for this to happen in this neighborhood is kind of disgusting to hear that. Being a criminal justice major, he researched how to start a neighborhood watch program. So I just want as many people as a community sure. as we can get to start this group. Started a petition on change.org. He also started a Facebook group. Getting the community back together, we're so divided, and getting our neighbors together and meeting together and talking about these occurrences will help. Now all he needs is neighbors like Terrence Little, who lived in Pontiac his whole life, to get on board. I think it might be a good idea just so, you know, the word can spread a little bit better and everybody around here can be aware you know what's going on that way or that way. It's a real grassroots effort, but Colton tells me he's really serious. He's still in the process of gathering all those petitions on change.org. And once he feels he has enough people, he's then going to go before the sheriff's office and talk to them before eventually going before Pontiac City Council and trying to make his neighborhood watch group official. Reporting live tonight in Oakland County, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Yeah, it seems like Colton's kind of an expert on this, having studied it. But uh, when it comes to statistics, does do we understand how well these neighborhood watches actually work? Yeah, the Department of Justice recently did a study on this very topic, the effectiveness of neighborhood watches, and it found anecdotally that, yes, it does make a difference and that community-based policing is one of the most effective ways to combat crime in communities. All right, for the good people of Pontiac, let's hope that Colton's plan works there. Dave Spencer for us live. Thank you.